100 meters, maybe walk through that and then see those guys kind of cru cruise by and not be able to hang on. Um, it's tough. It's tough. Uh, it's so great. It's a great shape.
have made a record. Sprints or hurdles, yeah, any any race, whether there's a heat semi and finals, I've made seven straight finals. And that's a record. I, I've done everything you can do other than record by record, and that was never really a desire of mine. Uh, for me, it's all always about medals because that's the only thing that that lasts forever. You know, that medals can be can be taken away from you. you know, other, other people can win with the medals, but um, records can be broken. And, become history. Uh, medals are, are forever, so uh, came up short, man, and uh, it's tough, but you gotta, this is where you gotta have a short memory, especially when you've had such a long career. The, the difficult part will be in two or three months, just trying to crank it back up. When you were, when you were, go ahead. Beyond the other end of this, hearing, hearing all that sort of talk and recapping, what would bring you back at this point? Who would bring you back? What sort of accomplishment would bring you back? I mean, really, it, it, it would come down to whether I can get a, all my sponsorship numbers are up. So if I can get a sponsorship to continue, someone to believe in me that I can that I can continue. Um, sure, but if not, you know, I, I can walk away knowing that I, I've done a lot, not only for myself and my family, but for my country, and and um, I've left a, a legacy. Uh, Track and field in my country, and there's a, it's an influx of, of young talent um, coming out of the Dominican Republic now, and I'm, I'm proud of that. And, and there's nothing I should, I could be down about it in, in that sense because I've, I've made an impact, and I, that's all I ever wanted to do. And I left, I left my mark on the sport, and, and I left a legacy in the Dominican Republic. When, when you were younger, could you make the mistakes you made today, like 2003, 2004? Could you still win the race and make those mistakes? Uh, maybe. Um, I just I, I didn't have a lot of races this season. Right. Um, and when you don't have a lot of races, you you're not as sharp as you would want to be, and you need to go open for those mistakes. Um, I, I wouldn't have made those mistakes early on in my career, because. Uh, but again, when you're younger and and you're sharp and like I said, these guys are, it's tough to keep up with them. And, and, I, and I know how they feel. You can see them, see them through the rounds, the younger guys, how they have that pop. And uh, you remember when. Yeah. And if you had to kind of rank the accomplishments of your career, and maybe do that, but also I was at Pan Am Games in 2003. I've never seen anything like that. It was like pandemonium when you're in. So maybe also where do you rank, rank that one? Uh, that was, that's probably top three. Uh, the number one accomplishment in memory would be last year, 2012. Just, just the fashion I won and, and, and all it meant to me and, and what I was doing it for at that moment. And uh, then probably Pan Am Games and then uh, Athens, uh, my first Olympic gold medal. Just because you, you, you've had a, you've had a career as long as mine, and you've run in so many different countries and so many major championships, you rarely, when you come from the Dominican Republic and you come from a small country, you rarely get the opportunity to compete in, in your home stadium. And, and given that opportunity in 2003, and it's the way they received me, and the way they filled the stadium, and the way they cheered me, and, and then winning there, and it just was very memorable. Yeah, I mean, as a, at the time, I'd only seen the 96 Olympics, and I was like, I thought it rivaled Michael Johnson. I mean, just the crowd, they were knocking down the fence to get in to see you, and like, it was cram, and it was, it was awesome. Uh, I still hear stories about that. <laughs> uh, I just remember running on the back stretch, and, and I felt like I could feel the screams on my arm. Uh, but, uh, and then last year, you had the, it was your grandmother? Yes. Do you feel like... It was just kind of destiny. It was meant for you to win last yeah, year. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this they confirmed it when I when I ran the exact same time to win the Olympics eight years later. Uh, that was absolutely destiny. That, that, that just doesn't happen, especially in athletics. All right. Well, it's been a great career. If we don't see you next year, but thank you. Hey, we'll see you out there. Thank you.